I'm Robin Reynolds and my business is called Ink and Alchemy. I'm an artist and a creative coach living in Albuquerque, New Mexico. I help people tap into their inner artist and fill their lives with creative joy and passion. I have a question for you today. Has anyone called you on your shiznit lately? Do you have those kinds of friends? The ones who will cock their heads sideways, squint their eyes and let you know when you are not showing up fully for yourself? or that you're just not making sense? Thankfully, I do. A few days ago, a friend did just that. We'd been hanging out for a few days on a girl's trip, but we were sneaking in some time to work and collaborate. So, of course, there was a lot of conversation about our businesses. At one point, she let me know that when I spoke of my business, I used the phrase, my little business. Not once or even twice. multiple times. When she pointed this out, and I was so grateful that she had mentioned it, and then I proceeded to do it again two more times. I was speaking the words and had clearly internalized them, but I couldn't even hear them myself. I was undermining myself and it was invisible to me. What is going on with that? This is not aligned with my intentions for my business. I am so passionate about it, and if I'm truthful, I can see big things down the road. I know that what I do can truly change lives and change our experience of being here right now and in our particular body. Of course I do, or why would I even spend so much time and effort to do this, right? And I've seen it in my own life. I have the evidence. I am the evidence. So then the next question is, why do I trivialize or minimize it? Why don't I shout it from the rooftops? The answer is because this is hard. Putting your shining golden dreams out into the world feels dangerous and scary, especially when they're still small and they're not yet strong enough to stand on their own. But I realized after this discussion with my friend that the only way these deep down heart and soul dreams can get stronger is by pushing them out there and letting them stand on their own sometimes. This is the work that I need to do right now. And let's face it, I'll just speak for myself here, but I bet this is true of you too. I'm already indulging myself in so many ways. Those teeny tiny Reese's cups straight out of the freezer, choosing busy work instead of the real and hard work because it's so much easier. I can think of many other examples, but today I'm here to inspire both of us, you and me, to choose a different way to indulge ourselves. What if we luxuriated and sank deeply into possibility? How rich and satisfying would that be? Believe in yourself, give yourself a chance. Whatever beautiful goals and dreams you have bouncing around in your head, speak of them using vast colossal words and think of them as brimming with glitter and potential. We can do this. As for me, I'm over here building a badass, life-changing business. A part of that is an eight-week workshop, which will launch in March. I'm still creating it, and it's a whole lot scary, but it's happening, and it's going to be incredible. I promise you that. As a vote of confidence in myself and my business, I'd like to invite you to be a founder. This means that you'll get lifetime access to the eight-week workshop, for a ridiculously low price. Because one, I want to invite you to provide feedback and constructive criticism as we go along. And two, most importantly, implementing a regular creative practice has completely changed my life. And I want to share all my secrets with you. Let's explore together. Head to my website, it's robin-reynolds.com. You can find the founder section under course or you could go to robin-reynolds backslash founders. Either way, hop on over. When you do, remind yourself that this is a huge statement that you are making to yourself. You believe in and you are ready to spend some time and effort on yourself. How freaking fantastic is that? And I'm wishing you a day full of love and deep satisfaction. I'll see you next time.